we have some great news. Yes, we've got a Christian Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, but now we have a Christian Governor General. 1st of July saw Major General David Hurley installed as a Governor General of Australia, and yes, he's a man of faith. He comes from Port Kembla, where we're shooting this video on the south coast of New South Wales. I've heard his testimony. He loves Jesus. Isn't that exciting? Are our problems over? No, we need to pray for our Prime Minister. We need to pray for the Governor General. We need to pray for our parliamentarians, Labor and Liberal. They need our prayers. We are facing a crisis when it comes to religious freedom. You see, the Liberal Party is going ahead without really listening to the people of faith, without really listening to the people of Australia and bringing in a whole bunch of religious freedom discrimination laws. We don't need more exemptions. Exemptions can be taken away with a stroke of a pen and a commissioner's whim. We need a Religious Freedom Act. Senator Conchetta Ferravanti Wells has released a petition for a Religious Freedom Act. You see, we need to protect freedom of conscience. We need to protect freedom of religion. We need to protect freedom of assembly. We need to protect freedom of speech. Look at what's happened to Israel Folau. He's just put a Bible verse on his private Instagram. His private Instagram, thank you very much. He's put a Bible verse and his whole $4 million contract has been torn up. That can happen to you, can happen to me, it could happen to anyone. And we need a Religious Freedom Act and we need strong, clear direction to the courts and to the states that people need to be free to express themselves, free to have a good conscience and have their own conscience about the things they believe in and be able to share that with their friends. We need to get activated. We need you to pray. That's the most important thing. But we also need you to write letters, not emails, letters. One letter is worth 300 emails. So yes, you need to write a letter and you need to write it to your local member and ideally your state senators, but certainly your local member, whoever he or she is and whatever party they are, and explain to them why it's so important. And then you need to get some friends and go and see a local member and share why this is so important to you. Why religious freedom is important to you, your children and your grandchildren. Okay, we want you to do this, but how are you gonna do it without you knowing what's happening? That's why this coming Monday, 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, we are having a religious freedom webinar at 6 p.m. in WA and in South Australia Northern Territory, that's 7.30 p.m. But 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, we are having a religious freedom webinar with two amazing legal minds. Augusta Zimmerman. He's written many, many books about law. He's lectured in many, many universities about law. He understands constitutional law, and he is a man to ask your questions. He'll share for a brief moment, but we're having a Q&A. On top of that, we're having Mark Sneddon, the Executive Director of an Institute for a Civil Society. He's in Melbourne, and he has also worked in government. He's worked in the court system. He is a lawyer of great repute, and a man who's passionate for the truth and passionate for faith, and he's written many papers about this subject. So please come along this Monday night. Come and be part of change. Come and be part of praying for our nation. Come and be part of seeing this nation turn around and come back to Jesus Christ. Because you know something? We need freedom of speech to preach the gospel. We need freedom of speech to share with our friends and neighbors. We need freedom of speech for the church to grow. So God bless you. See you this coming Monday night, 8 p.m. All the best.